Buying your first camera could be really stressful, especially if you do not know what you're looking for. Compared to other tech products like mobile phones and video game consoles, making your first camera purchase is not as easy. And to make it worse, once you start searching for reviews, you are met with a bunch of technical words such as ISO, dynamic range, full frame and crop sensors. Words that make zero sense at first. And for some people, seeing and reading those words would probably just remind them on why they would rather shoot with their phones in the first place. Because once we start mixing the word camera with other technical photography terms, the actual work of taking a photo suddenly becomes complicated. So in today's video, I want to give you guys some tips and simple things to focus on to help you guys buy your first camera as easy as possible. What is going on guys, Jerry Francisco here, welcome to my channel. When buying your first camera, you want to keep it simple. You don't want to be spending a lot of time learning about those big photography terms because none of those words would make sense without having an actual camera on your hand. So my first advice is to really focus on the reasons why you want to buy the camera in the first place. Is it for your upcoming vacation? Then maybe you just need something small, light, and easy to use. Is it for your kids' soccer games? Then maybe you need a camera that is fast and something that could handle a nice zoom lens. Whatever your reason is, make sure that it is your priority when looking for a camera. Because having that specific reason in mind would really help you narrow down your search. All cameras would come with their own bells and whistles. Just because it is the best one out there in the market, it doesn't mean that it's the best one for you. You don't want to find yourself halfway through your vacation just to suddenly switch back to your phone. Because you realize that the camera you just purchased was just too big, heavy, and hard to use. So really focus on the reason why you want to buy the camera in the first place. My next step is to have a set and realistic budget for your purchase. A photography expense can get out of hand really quick. It happened to me, it happened to a lot of people I know. I ended up buying a lot of stuff I didn't need. You also want to have a budget that makes sense to your skill level. Like what I've said a while ago, just because it is the best camera out there, it doesn't mean it's the best fit for you. Because oftentimes, the best cameras comes with a hefty price tag. And these cameras often require a user to have a higher level of photography skill. I know a lot of people that bought a very expensive camera for the first one. And a lot of these people either ended up reselling their camera or just left their camera collecting dust somewhere in their house. Also, when you guys are creating a budget, make sure that you guys set aside some money for other photography related expense that you might need. Because you might need lenses, memory cards, camera bags, extra batteries. And those expenses could really add up quick. I would also suggest for you guys to consider buying used or refurbished cameras because you guys could save a lot of money going this route. As a matter of fact, the very first camera that I bought was a refurbished Nikon D60 which I got for I think around 280 back in 2010. Going this route gave me extra cash to buy two more lenses, a 35mm 1.8 and a 50mm 1.8. And this takes me to my next advice. Look at cameras that really fits your skill level. Reading and watching camera reviews could easily persuade a first time camera buyer to buy the latest and greatest camera out there. A lot of people think that buying the best camera or the most expensive camera would help them out becoming better photographers. A lot of people would also argue that if they buy the pro level camera now, then they would probably not need to buy another one later on. But the reality is, no matter what your first camera is, especially if you ended up liking photography, you will continue to keep buying new cameras because technology changes and eventually your camera would break down. There are a lot of very good entry level cameras out there. So there is no reason why you want to spend that much cash for your first camera. My last tip is to find time to actually hold and test out the cameras before buying it. Go to a camera store or even ask a friend that might have one. This way you will get a feel of the size and weight of the camera before actually making that big purchase. I have a lot of friends that ended up switching to their phones because they realized that their cameras are just too big and heavy to carry around the whole day. But fortunately, we have mirrorless cameras now. So there are a lot more options to choose from now compared to when I first bought my camera back when DSLRs are dominating the market. So nowadays you don't have to carry a big and heavy DSLR for the whole day. And this can be beneficial for someone that is just looking for something light and compact. The size and weight of your camera could really be a problem especially if you're planning to use this for travel. So make sure you consider this before making your purchase. Buying your first camera should not be as complicated as most people make it to be. Remember to just keep it simple and really focus on what is more important. Focus on the reasons why you want to buy the camera in the first place. Stick to a budget, buy a camera that fits your skill level, and make sure that you're comfortable with the size and weight before making your purchase. If you guys still have some questions before buying your first camera, feel free to comment below and I will try to answer them the best way I can. If you love this video, click like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.